who should be in the historic WWE Elite Series 100. We got to assume this series is coming up by the end of the year, beginning of next year. So who's going to make the cut? Who's going to be in that historic 100th series of WWE Elite Action Figures? Alright, what is up Nation and welcome back to Tuesday Night Toys episode number 14 right here on the No Nation YouTube channel and of course on your audio platforms. And the conversation that I have lined up for this week is like I said in the beginning of this video, WWE Elite Series 100. Now I believe we are up to Elite 95. Uh, I currently here on, you know, if you go on like ringside or something like that, that is what they go for pre-order at the moment. I'm pretty sure these sets for Elite Series 96 and 97 have been revealed at this point. So there's still a couple more to go, but we're nearing very close. And the, the way Elite figures come out, you know, which is very fast for the most part, we got to assume by the end of this year, beginning of next year, we're going to at least know who is going to be in WWE Elite Series 100. And the reason I wanted to do a whole podcast talking about this, whether we're here for 20 minutes or 40 minutes talking about this, is because it's a big series, man. Like, a, a Series 100 is a very big deal. You know, they hit uh, Series 100 with the basic figures a couple of years ago, uh, which was a great set that I didn't pick up at the time, so I really wasn't buying uh, that many basic figures. Not that I am now, but, you know, if, if, if these were to come out now, I would have bought the basic uh, 100 set. But, you know, I could always try to go back and get those. But it's a very big deal. You know, that's something that Jax, you know, they had the license for a long time. They never hit, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't believe they did uh, 100 of any set. You know, they had the Ruthless Aggression figures, the Adrenaline figures, the uh, f figures, excuse me, the uh, Ring Rage figures, you know, a bunch of stuff. Uh, classic superstars, of course, uh, but I don't believe they ever hit 100 for any set. So, you know, 100 was a big deal when WWE uh, and Mattel hit that for Basic Series 100. So now we're getting close. We're at Elite 95 for, you know, what is about to release. I believe that uh, set ships in August, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and like I said, I believe we already know the lineups for Elite 96 and 97. I'm pretty sure that's floating around out there. So we still need to, you know, figure out Elite 98, 99. And then, of course, we'll get to the big 100 set. And I, I would be willing to bet at this point, I mean, I think, you know, they obviously months and months and, you know, several sets in advance that Mattel already knows uh, what figures are going to be in. I'm sure they're might probably already in production, possibly at this point. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to talk about it today because, again, it's a big deal. And there's a lot of potential, man. You know, the Elite Series has been one of the biggest things, you know, for wrestling figures over the last decade. You know, when Mattel first took over the WWE license, you know, I know a lot of people who, and I talked about this on last week's episode, so go check that out when we were talking about potential uh, figures that could get re-released in the new Elite's Greatest Hits line, so go check out uh, last week's episode right here on the YouTube channel. But, uh, you know, we were talking about it last week, and there was a lot of collectors back in the day who were wrestling figure collectors for the Jax era of wrestling figures for WWE that they were so in deep with that and the classic superstars and buying those figures that when it made the switch and, you know, Mattel had the WWE license. Now they weren't interested in Mattel figures. They were like, all right, that's it. You know, Jax is done. I'm done collecting. And it took, you know, a couple of years for people to really get in to the Mattel line. And I think elites had a lot to do with that because, you know, basic figures were basic figures. You know, they were a lot better then, honestly, than they are now. Uh, they've gotten even more basic over the years, obviously. But, uh, you know, elite figures, man, they were pretty historic. You know, they're up there with, you know, your other brands that have, you know, your your Marvel Legends or your Star Wars Black Series, which are very articulated figures. Uh, WWE Elites are right there, man. Obviously, we've gotten Ultimate Editions by now. Jazzwares has the AW figures. Uh, you know, it's been 12 years, you know, of Mattel WWE figures. So, you know, a lot has changed when it comes to making action figures. But WWE Elite figures were... You know, groundbreaking from from what I can see. You know, tons of articulation, tons of detail, and they've only gotten better with age. So it's a big set, man, and I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, who is going to be in that 100 series because again, it is very big, it is very historic. So that is why I wanted to come on here and kind of speculate uh, with you guys today. And you guys can let me know down in the comments here on YouTube or if you're listening, uh, let hit, hit me up on social media at. Uh, Noah Nation Vlogs over on Instagram and Twitter. Let me know who you think is going to be in Elite Series 100, who you'd like to see. But just kind of speculate it, man, because, again, it's a big deal and it's worth having a conversation about. And, again, I think I'd be willing to bet that Mattel already knows who's going to be in Elite Series 100, so I'm kind of just, you know, throwing ideas at the wall right now uh, just for fun when I'm sure it's already determined. But, you know, that's one of the things that we do as toy collectors. We don't just buy the products. We speculate on what's to come. So, you know, I thought it'd be a cool conversation today. Definitely, you know, intrigue with me here in the comments here on YouTube. And let me know who you want to see in WWE Elite Series 100. 
So getting into that conversation, I think first things first we got to talk about is when will Elite Series 100 officially be revealed? And if I had to make a prediction, the way reveals go, you know, we have San Diego Comic-Con coming up, which, uh, you know, WWE and Mattel always makes a big presence with reveals every year. You know, the three big main reveal days, uh, I'd say, you know, for... For Mattel figures for WWE every year, always WrestleMania weekend, uh, San Diego Comic Con, and then Ringside Fest. So obviously WrestleMania weekend is come and gone this year. We had an awesome slew of reveals that weekend, uh, which are you know starting to get released. Uh, you know as we speak, some have already been released, like the SummerSlam waves and other waves and stuff like that. But uh, so now we're done with that. So now we move on. San Diego Comic Con is end of July. You know I don't have I can look up a set date here for you, but regardless, you know it's it's coming up. So. We gotta let me, let me let me get the date up here before I move on with my with my own conversation. SDC Thursday, July twenty uh, first through Sunday, July twenty fourth. So obviously coming up uh, in just over a month. So we have that. We have Ringside Fest now. There is a very big potential that you know, like I said, Elite ninety five is out there. The Elite ninety six and ninety seven lineups have been revealed we've seen i think a couple of molds of some of those figures uh like wrestlemania weekend like the brock lesnar uh from the SummerSlam return last year then i think they're doing the survivor series becky lynch from last year some of that stuff was just kind of previewed like i'm pretty sure the becky lynch was kind of just like a a mold with some color it wasn't actually the figure so i'd assume all of that stuff elite 96 elite 97 definitely would probably be sdcc reveals as for elite 98 and 99 i could honestly see them giving us you know the next three elite series maybe and then obviously we get other stuff right we get basics we get ultimate editions we get you know what's going to be the sdc exclusive which obviously we'll know in advance but you know as last year's sdcc uh was a huge day i remember you know i live streamed it you know as reveals were coming out because there was a live uh you know uh whatever they're called it little elite squad you know sessions or whatever little live stream with the reveals last year and i was live streaming that right here on the youtube channel and i think we were here for like an hour talking about figures just elites and and basics and stuff like that but there's also elites you know outside of just the normal elite lines like the legends figures and the pay-per-view sets so you know it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get the next five series in one shot for uh for reveals that day so i'm i'm gonna be honest i think that when elite series 100 gets revealed my prediction is going to be ringside fest i think between between san diego comic-con and then i think san diego comic-con is going to be a bunch of reveals that are going to lead us right up to right before elite series 100 like maybe they give us up to elite 99 or 98 or something like that but again on top of legends figures and pay-per-view sets and top pick sets and all those other sets that we have for elite figures so it's not necessarily just those you know the common waves of the figures excuse me uh so i think that's going to be my prediction for when they reveal the figures because also because i'm not expecting elite series 100 if i had to make a guess to be released this year i think it'll be an early next year uh release in my opinion i think you know elite 95 is around august do we usually get one elite set a month or you know every month and a half for the most part depending on when you know ringside ships and whatnot uh so i, I if i had to make a prediction i'd say elite series 100 and this is again my guess you guys can have your own guesses I think it'll be revealed at Ringside Fest this year, which is usually October, I think, maybe November. I think it's October every year. Um, and then I think that it'll actually get released, if I had to take a guess, in the beginning of 2023, you know, 13 years after uh, Mattel got the license. That's going to be my prediction. I think that's more realistic uh, because I'm just, you know, counter, I'm just uh, factoring in all the other sets. You know, we still have Elite 95 to be released and we got 96, 97, 98, 99. So that's four more sets to be released, uh, which could be September, October, November, December, kind of, uh, on top of, you know, any pay-per-view sets, which I don't even know what pay-per-view sets. Um, well, I guess there's a Survivor Series wave, uh, obviously. So, you know, you got to count those in. Uh, we usually get the Royal Rumble sets a little bit early, like December, January time. Uh, and then, you know, Legends figures as well. So I think beginning of next year is more realistic. Uh, and I think something that's going to come out at the beginning of next year would most likely be a ringside fest reveal if I had to guess. But that's just one I think, you know, Elite Series 100 will be released, uh, or excuse me, revealed slash released. But let's get into who I think may be in the line. Now, I think there's a couple different ways that you can go with Elite Series 100. Again, this is a big one, man. You can't just throw anybody in Elite Series 100, you know, a new freaking, uh, I don't even know. Like, I, I, I love Randy Orton, right? One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I just got in uh, his top talent, top pick, whatever it is, 2023 figure, you know, with the black and yellow 
uh, tights, which is great, but it's a current day Randy Orton with uh, just a basic change on it. Uh, that's not something you're going to throw in Elite Series 100, man. Like, this is the 100th set of Elite figures, uh, not including, you know, Legends and, uh, you know, pay-per-view stuff. It's just the basic line, of course. It's got to be big, so I think there's a couple different ways you can go with it. My first idea... And this is probably the weakest idea, but I think it's a good idea. You know, if they went this route, I personally wouldn't be complaining. I think it'd be interesting, and uh, I think it would definitely be uh, more commemorative, if you will, for the Elite uh, 100 set, more just to kind of celebrate the set and not necessarily get the best figures, if that makes sense. Uh, but of course, like I said, they already hit 100 for the basic uh, set, you know, and the basic set came out a few years ago. Uh, and of course, that series was The Rock, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, John Cena, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then there was the uh, Chase variant, Shawn Michaels, which I believe was the 2003 uh, Royal Rumble attire. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but it's a great set, a Hall of Fame set, of course, with uh, figures for the most part that have slash haven't been released in elite form. Like, yeah, The Rock, they probably wouldn't be that much of an elite, uh, different uh, elite figure. And same with Stone Cold and The Undertaker. But I don't believe they've made that, that specific... Uh, you know, that 8-bit shirt from, like, late 2008, John Cena in, in, in elite form. And those Shawn Michaels attires, I don't believe, have been made in elite form. So you can probably pick up what I'm putting down. And my first idea for Elite Series 100 would basically literally be take the figures that you made in Basic Series 100 and just make them in elite form. That way, Basic Series 100 and Elite Series 100 are the same, uh, but just in their own forms. I think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a horrible idea. It's not necessarily my number one route probably I would go. I think it's still a good idea though, and if it were to happen, I wouldn't be complaining. You get six figures out of the set. That's, of course, including the Chase figure. Maybe they could add somebody else in there, but then they'll kind of throw off the, you know, uh... What am I trying to say? The resemblance between the two, if you will. And yes, again, some of the figures wouldn't be necessarily the best or the most uh, sought after, you know, characters or the, not the characters, but like attires, if you will, because the rock may not be that much different than other, you know, classic rock elites or it's the same with Stone Cold. It's just the same Stone Cold, but this one's got white knee braces. Uh, Undertaker, you know, it's, it's honestly would be similar to Elite Series 1 Undertaker, except this one's got uh, brown logos on his tights. And then John Cena and Shawn Michaels probably have the uh, best figures of the set, most likely, uh, the most unique, the most colorful, uh, most different of the set, because I don't believe, again, those attires have been made in a lead form. So again, I don't think it's the greatest idea in the world, but I think it's a, it's a good idea. And if they went that route to just kind of, you know, have the same figures that are in basic 100 be the same figures that are in, in elite 100, just in their own forms, I think it would be a good idea to kind of have that resemblance there. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that idea down below in the comments. Would you guys want to see that? But again, that's just idea number one. I'm not saying that's my number one idea that I would do. I just think it's worth noting uh, as an idea, especially if they did... And I'm sure they'll do this anyway, but uh, for Elite Series 100, like they did for uh, Basic 100, kind of have those, uh, uh, you know, exclusive, I guess you could say, or different cards, uh, and or in the elite, elite Case boxes for them with that, you know, nice black and silver, a uh, little bit of a different artwork job uh, just to commemorate Series 100. I think that'd be very, very cool. I would be down for that. It'd be a nice little resemblance there. So that is first idea, my first idea, excuse me, for Elite Series 100. So moving on from that, my next idea for Elite Series 100, and again, let me know you guys' ideas down below in the comments, but my next idea, and I don't think this is the best idea either, not because it's a bad idea, but because they're doing the greatest hits line. My 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 second idea would basically just be to re-release old figures in their new forms, just like they did with that top talent John Cena, which was the Elite Series 3 John Cena, basically, but they redid it, and now it's an even better figure this time around. So again, I don't think... They would do this most likely because now they're doing that elite greatest hits line. But then again, the greatest hits line can also just kind of be what it is, which is the greatest elite figures, you know, re-released or redone or whatever, you know, however you want to say it. And this could be more of just how that John Cena was, which is not necessarily the most sought after greatest elite figure of all time, but it's an old figure that got redone. And now it's a re-release, if you will. I think it's definitely potential. I don't think it's a bad idea, but again, I'm not saying it would be... Something that I would definitely do just because, again, they have that greatest hits line. And guys, let me know down below in the comments. But uh, I think it's definitely potential. I think, you know, if... It would honestly would be sick if they had all these people in the company. But obviously CM Punk and the Jeff Hardy figure never got released anyway. But it, Jeff Hardy's not, not in the company anymore either. Uh, but it would be pretty sick if all the guys that were in Elite Series 1, uh, which was Rey Mysterio, MVP, Edge, The Undertaker, CM Punk, and then obviously you can't really count Jeff Hardy. But if you wanted to, he you know, you could... Um, 
if, if all those figures that were Elite Series 1, they just redid and did in Elite Series 100. Obviously, that can't happen. It would be super sick uh, because, you know, obviously there's, some of those people aren't in the company anymore. But I think it would be awesome, man. Uh, and maybe they could, you know, still do elements of that. You know, maybe it could be Rey Mysterio from Elite Series 1. And they grab, uh, and I'm just going to say to John Cena, even though they already did that, just to say it as an example. Like, oh, we're going to grab John Cena from the Series 3 Elites. And we're going to grab, I don't even know, freaking Batista from Series 6. I think he came with a referee shirt. I don't even remember. I'm just pulling stuff out of my ass here uh, and just grab some of those early early elites and then just again redid them for series 100 i think it would be a good idea um but again i just don't know how much they would go into that because they're already doing a line that is literally uh the greatest hits elites which is you know a redone re-release version of old elite figures so it's worth noting but again uh not necessarily you know top of the top idea wise another idea that you have this is the elite series 100 there's a lot of good options you want a badass lineup i think you could do your six figures. Hell, you could even up the ante here and do like eight figures in the set, which would be sick. You know, remember when they were doing that a couple of times in like 2016, 2015, I feel like. Uh, they were doing like eight figures per set. Not That didn't happen too often, I don't think. But there was a couple of lead series in there. I don't know which one's off the top of my head. Uh, that that just had like like two like they'll have like two legends in there and like two guys from NXT. There there was like a couple lines that had like seven eight figures. Obviously sevens you know I guess normal because of the chase figure. But there was like eight figures in there. It was weird. Uh, but that, that would be pretty sick if they upped the annual with the uh, quantity of figures you get in the set. But let's just say it's gonna be six figures, not including a chase. Uh, maybe you can cut it down the middle. Maybe you can give us three legends and three current superstars in uh elite series 100 obviously they have the legends line but they still throw out legends in the elite line you know in elite 94 we got bret hart and the british bulldog so which i'd have to get those figures <laughs> so i uh, this is my collection but you know just that's an example there uh and i don't know who you can pull you know maybe you could pull you know your three top current superstars tonight maybe elite series 100 is where we get the first elite cody Rhodes back in the line i think that'd be a great idea you know i think they'll probably go they might even go ringside exclusive for the first Cody Rhodes back. I'm not sure, but I think throwing a first Cody Rhodes back in the WWE, his first figure back in the Elite Series 100 would be sick. And then imagine the three current guys, hypothetically, if my idea were to be true, were Cody, you know, maybe it's uh, Seth Rollins in his WrestleMania attire from this year or something like that. Or, uh, you know, I'd say Roman Reigns, but he's getting that Ultimate Edition figure. He's had a couple of Elites. There's really not many different uh, you know attires i could do but i'm sure they would still squeeze one out uh so let's just say roman reigns i don't know cody seth roman reigns is like your top three uh and then maybe your three you know legends are uh i don't know stone cold and his wrestlemania I, i'm saying wrestlemania even though all the wrestlemania ideas are probably going to be in next year's wrestlemania line anyway but uh you know let's i'm just hypothetically speaking so it doesn't matter stone cold and his wrestlemania gear from this year maybe it's a, a throwback undertaker maybe it's a a, a rock or a, a cena or something like that it doesn't matter uh but just maybe that would be a sick line or sick idea i should say uh for elite series 100 we cut it down the middle three top current superstars three top legends some of their best looks just to celebrate 100 i think that'd be a good idea that's probably the best idea so far and also a realistic idea uh for elite series 100 and again you know i i said this a couple times at the beginning of the video if i had to make a bet i'd bet that elite series 100 is already decided already in production you know <laughs> probably not maybe, maybe not in deep in production but at least already decided who's going to be in that line and uh you know is about to be in production or something like that i don't know but i'm just saying if i had to bet i think it most likely is uh and i i'm sure they at least already know who's going to be in that set but again we're just here for fun just here to speculate anyway so it doesn't really matter but last but not least and this is kind of an overall this isn't even an idea this is just kind of my overall thing but again i think i said this in the beginning when i was talking about the ideas elite series 100 it's big it's historic it's a big deal you gotta have figures in here that are that are excuse me let me rephrase this are going to be worthy for elite series 100 you know again and i don't mean no disrespect to some of the current talent and uh obviously i'm not knocking some of these current talents for being in the elite line because you want to have these figures but like and re most recently in elite 94 you had the first mace figure it's honestly a cool look figure not 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 really a big fan but like you know it's a cool figure not gonna sit here and lie but that's not a figure you throw out in elite series 100 and i think mattel knows that i think the guys you gotta look at to put an elite series 100 or it has got to be those top names from the current roster has got to be those top legends it's got to be some of their best looks that you possibly have never done in elite form man you got to throw out the biggest and possible ideas 
for Elite Series 100. You can't have it be a flop. I think they know that. I think that's why they did such an all-star lineup for Basic Series 100 when, you know, we get a lot of just, you know, random figures in the Basic Series. Obviously, we get big names all the time, but, you know, uh, Basic Series just hit a local toy shop of mine, and it's got our new Lince Dorado and Grand Metal League and uh, a Johnny Gargano, and obviously none of those guys are in the company anymore, but I'm just, you know, saying, like, not, you know, your top superstar names, obviously. So when it comes to 100, I think they know that. Uh, that's why Basic Series 100, again, was all those top names. Uh, so I think when it comes to the Elite Series 100, you got to have worthy talent in there. I think they know that. And uh, I'm, I'm just pumped up to see who who's going to be in there, man. I was thinking about it originally before I even decided to talk about it on the podcast. And I was like, man, who's going to be in that set? And uh, again, that's when I just started coming up with these ideas. And I decided to share them with you guys and hopefully create some con- uh, conversation, I should say, uh, to you know see what you guys want to see. And, uh, you know, hopefully get a, a badass series. Maybe we'll get some first time in the line uh, figures. You know, I don't know who could be a first time in the line. Uh, you know, that'd be a, a big name. I think Cody, you know, obviously it wouldn't be his first time ever getting a WWE lead figure, of course. Uh, but it would be his first figure back. So I think that's a big deal. Um, I don't know who else they could do. You know, maybe they could throw in an NXT. That would honestly be pretty cool, throwing in some first-time, you know, NXT talent. Maybe get your first Braun Breaker Elite in Elite Series 100. Kind of make a big deal. The past, the present, the future. Maybe maybe that's, the, maybe that's the theme of Elite Series 100. Two legends, two, you know, top current guys, and two NXT future guys. I think it's a good idea there. Um, I don't know. You could throw out anything, and as long as things, as long as you have your top names, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good idea. It's gonna be a an awesome set, regardless. For they're gonna have fancy box art and stuff like that, and uh, I'm just pumped up to see it. And I hope you guys are pumped up to see it as well. And again, I think we'll have to wait till Ringside Fest. But hey, who knows? Maybe they'll hit us with a time bomb, hit us with a big one at freaking San Diego Comic Con, and be like, by the way, Elite Series 100 is coming up next year. Here's who's gonna be in it. I don't know. That remains to be seen. I'm just here speculating as a wrestling uh, figure collector, and um, I got nothing else to say. <laughs> but no, seriously, like that's all my thoughts on WWE Elite Series 100. I can't wait to see what it is, and uh, I can't wait to add it to the collection. It's most likely going to be one of those sets where I'm like, you know, why don't I get a one one loose and one mid on card, you know, just so I have it because it's a big set or something like that. Uh, you know, all remains to be seen, but I hope you guys enjoyed this week's podcast. Obviously a shorter one, but I just wanted to have this good conversation, just kind of chill and have a good conversation with you guys. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying, you know, if you if you are a viewer, excuse me, of the uh, of the channel, you know, some of the recent content. In a recent YouTube short that I uploaded this morning, we uh, unboxed this. Brand new Shop AEW, if I can get out of the frame here and get to focus, Shop AEW Kenny Omega uh, figure, which is super cool. I'm going to post pictures of this over on my Instagram, mostly before uh, this podcast goes out, so uh, go check that out. Again, at No Nation Vlogs over on Instagram. We also unboxed a brand new Star Wars hot toy yesterday, right? Yesterday <laughs> here on the channel. And uh, last week we did a ringside unboxing. We talked about some of the new WWE Funko Pops. There's a bunch of awesome past content here, uh, right here on the YouTube channel. We're building a community for fellow toy collectors. So be sure to join the nation by hitting that subscribe button down below. If of course you're watching this podcast here on the YouTube channel. And if you're listening to this podcast on any of the audio platforms, be sure to give me the old five-star review. I know last week's podcast isn't available on audio platforms yet, that's because I live-streamed it on YouTube. I'm just going to keep it that way. Nice little YouTube exclusive for episode 13, so go check that out if you missed it. If you're listening to uh, you know, this podcast, or hell, if you're watching it as well and you missed it, go check that out as well. Next week's podcast, Tuesday Night Toys, episode 15. Big deal, episode 15. We will be back with a guest, which I'm going to be recording this weekend. Very excited for that. A long-awaited guest. Been trying to get this uh, guy on the podcast for a couple of weeks. Our schedules clashed a little bit, um, but we were able to uh, finally get it done this weekend. So I'm pretty pumped up for that. It's going to be sick, and I want to get more guests, you know, more consistently here on the podcast. So I got a couple of people in mind. And uh, if there's anybody out there in the uh, toy community that you guys want to see me try to get here on the Tuesday Night Toys podcast, also let me know down below in the comments. But thank you guys for checking out this week's podcast, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice little conversation. Again, not a long one, but still a fun one. It's not about the length. It's about the quality of the conversation. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tuesday Night Toys, episode 14 in the books. I'll be back next week with a guest right here on the Tuesday Night Toys podcast. And then, of course, we'll be back tomorrow and throughout the week with more content right here on the No Nation YouTube channel. So thank you guys again for checking it out. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Yeah, it's not a